एक उदेश स्थित अग्ने ज्योत्ना विस्तारिणा जथा परस्व ब्रह्मण शक्ति तथीदम अखिलम जगत वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस वर्ष लास्ट संडे नाइट so the example is given that like fire is localized in a place but the heat and light is expanded the vivid example we can see the sun the sun glow is situated in one place every one of us we can see and the heat and light is distributed throughout the whole universe according to our vedic conception the sun is moving around not the sun is the center it is in the center of the universe but it is uh, going down kalachak uh, it is called kalachak uh, in brahma sangita it is said jat chakshure sa savita sagala grahana raja samasta sura murti asisate ja jashagya bhavati sangrita kalachak गोविंदवादि पुरुषम तम फ्रॉम भागवता वही अंडरस्टैंड सन इज नॉट फिक्स टाप इन वन प्लेस बट इट इज गोइंग राउंड एंड द होल यूनिवर्सल प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम दे आर ऑल्सो मूविंग मेकिंग द पोल स्टार So, making the pole star as the pi pi one. So, we can see the sun is in the center of the universe, but it is illuminating and heating the whole universe. Similarly, Krishna is situated in his own abode, Golok Vrindavan, but. by distribution of his different energies he is all pervade this is the idea when he speak god all pervading uh, but he is energy but he is not different from his energy shakti shakti mata abhed shakti man the energetic and the energy they are not different In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, Krishna says, "Maya tadamidam sadbam jagat abhaktam murti na." I am situated all over the universe in my abhaktam form, not manifested form. The manifested form is Krishna, that is in Golok Vinda. Parasya shakti vividhi vasyate. He is distributed uh, all over the universe, everywhere. Anantara sang paramanu cha anantara sam. He is within the universe, anantara sam, and paramanu cha anantara sam within the atom also. Uh, <coughs> that is all part of it. Sadbam kholi dam brahma. Uh, this is uh, to be understood. The God is simultaneously localized and all pervading. The Mahabadi philosophers they think materially that if God is all pervading, why He should be localized? Uh, why He should not be? That is the answer. God is not under your dictation. Uh, he is all powerful he can do so remaining in his own place he can be distributed 
he can distribute himself everywhere annantarasam parmanu chayat adaitay achyate anadi ananta roopam ekapashu rachayatum jagadanna koti jachakti rasti jagadanna chayajadantam annantarasam parmanu chayantarasam govinda madhi purusham tamam this is the conception of all parvati so ekadeshasitasyagne jushna visarini jatha parasya brahmana shakti so we should understand presence of god everywhere by his energy parasya brahmana shakti tatidam akilam jaga there are many places in bhagavad gita It is also said, अथवा बहुने तेना किंग्य तेना तबाजना विष्टब्या अहम् इदं कृष्टम् इकांशी नस्तितु जगत् इकांशी नस्तितु एस परमात्मा इज सिचुएटेड एवरीवन देन चैतन्य महाभूत से कृष्णेर शबाबिक तीन शक्ति परिणति चित शक्ति जीव शक्ति आर माया शक्ति तो एवरीथिंग इज पर ब्रह्मण शक्ति वट एवर वी सी दैट इज मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड्स डिफरेंट एनर्जी एग्जांपल इज दिस फायर एंड द हीट एंड लाइफ दैट्स ऑल हीट इज Uh, the material energy and light is the spiritual energy. Uh, just like when you feel some heat, uh, you can immediately understand there is some fire. And if there is light, you can immediately understand there is fire. The light we can see, and heat we can feel. By feeling or seeing, we can understand the existence of God everywhere. This is intelligence. Uh, not that they challenge foolishly. I can can you show me God? I cannot see God. That one is no. Why you cannot see God? You can feel the presence of God uh, by heat and light. Like light you can see uh, uh, when there is sun sign you can see the both the light and the heat so uh, as it is confirmed in the vedic literature we should appreciate the presence of god everywhere by his different energies exactly like heat and light uh, <coughs> So this energy of Krishna, he has called multi energy. Na tasya kajam karan ancha vidyate, na tasya sama udikasya disyate, parasya shakti vividai vasriyate, sabhabdiki jnana balakriyacha. This is Vedic injunction. Na tasya kajam karan ancha vidyate. Krishna Uh, yeah, he is playing on his flute, uh, but his energies are working. Uh, just like a big man, a big business magnet, he is sitting in his room, but his energy is working. Big big factory is going on. Uh, large amount of profit is coming uh, automatically. See if it is possible for ordinary uh, human being that is sitting in one place and still things are going on by management of his energy. Uh, so why not Krishna, the supreme Lord? Uh, he is sitting in one place. Go loko evani vasati akhilat nuhuta. आनंद चिन्मय रस प्रतिभाता भी साभी एव निज रूपतया कला भी 
Gorokai Vani Vasati, Akhilatma Gurkha. He is situated in his planet Golok Vrindavan. Still, his uh, energies are going on. The material energy is working. Uh, this material world, Krishna says, Maya Dhaksena Prakriti Suyati Sacharacharam. Under his vigilance, now all the laws of material nature is going on. Exactly in time the sun is rising, the moon is rising, everything is going on minutely, very nicely. Prasya Shakti, Sabhaviki Jnana Balakriya. It is going so nicely that Krishna hasn't got to learn how to do it. The machine is so perfect, it is going on perfectly. The flower is coming. Uh, by his energy, uh, punna-gandha-prithivyāñca, the special seed you sow on the ground and a particular type of plant will come out, then rose will come out, a particular flavor will come out. sabhaviki jñāna uh, We do not see how Krishna's energies are working. Uh, but it is working. Don't think that it is automatically there was a chunk and there was no. Not like that. Everything. But his energy is so perfect. Uh, it's like if you want to paint one nice flower, you have to arrange so many things color and the brass and the painting uh, cloth. And you have to apply your energy. But still it will not come so perfect. But Krishna's energy are so perfect that we see automatically. But there is supervision of Krishna. If there is no question of accident, everything is supervised. But sabhaviki jnana balakriyat. We have to do it in, with our hand to paint a picture of a nice rose flower. But uh, in the nature, the flower is coming out, we see automatically. No, the Krishna's energy is working there. But it is going on so swiftly, so, uh, I mean to say, accurately, that he hasn't got to uh, exert his energy, but it is working automatically. Sabhaviki jnana balakriya. Whatever knowledge is required, uh, you have, if you have studied, you will find in the petals of the flower the color uh, exactly is symmetrical, everything. Uh, whatever color is required, it is coming out. Uh, we say automatically, no automatically. Sabhaviki jnana balakriya. The knowledge. Uh, and the action of Krishna is so perfect, it is coming out. So Chaitanya Mahamsa says, Krishna is sabhavik, sabhavik, natural, automatically, inconceivable. We cannot conceive that, how it is what. So Krishna is sabhavik, tini shakti, parinati, chit shakti, jiva shakti, aramaya shakti. So there are many energies, and all the energies now uh, aggregated, divided into three. Uh, one is chit shakti, the material, uh, spiritual energy. Another is jiva shakti, the marginal energy. Jiva shakti, we are marginal energy. We are shakti. We are not shakti man. You must always remember. Jiva Bhuta Mahabhaya Jayeda Jhar Para Prakriti. Aparayam itastu vidhi me prakriti para. Jiva Bhuta. Jiva is para prakriti. It is prakriti, the other day of election. It is not purusha. Purusha is enjoyed. And prakriti is enjoyed, uh, predominated. Prakriti is predominated. And God is predominated. Uh, so 
all these shaktis are under fully under control of the Supreme Personality of God. Maya Dhaksena Prakriti Svati Sacharat. In another place, Sisti Sthiti Pralaya Sadhana Shakti Rika Chai Vajasya Bhavanani Vivarti Durga Jasyacha Ichchanu Rupa Mapi Jasyacha Cheshtati Sa Govinda Mahadi Purusam Tama. Every Shakti is watching under his direction. That is Krishna. Krishna is Havavikthin Shakti Parinati Chit Shakti Jiva Shakti Aharamaya. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, that is the Acharya process. Acharya. Achinati Shastra Thang. One who knows the Shastra Artha, one who has assimilated the Shastra uh, Artha, he is Acharya. So immediately he is giving uh, evidence from Shastra. Vishnu Shakti Pura Prokta Khetra Gnakya Tatha Pura Abhidya Karma Sanganya Tritya Asu Shakti Rishad. He has divided the whole energy of Krishna into three uh, Chit Shakti, Jiva Shakti, and Maya Shakti. Uh, so the evidence is quoted from Shastra, Vishnu Puran, that Vishnu Shakti Paraprakta. Originally, the Krishna's energy is Chit Shakti. Uh, Chit Shakti is spiritual energy. Original. Everything, uh, uh, just like the uh, sun and the sun sign, the sun sign originally signing. But when it is covered by cloud, it is not sign. The, within the cloud, the real sun sign is there. So this material energy means it is covered by ignorance. This is the difference between spiritual energy and material energy. There is no two energy. Energy is one. Vishnu Shakti Pura Prokta, that is Pura, spiritual energy. Ketrga Kya Tatha Pura. Ketrga Kya Tatha Pura. Ketrga means Jiva Shakti, one who knows Ketra and Ketrga. This subject matter is dealt in the thirteenth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Khetra, khetra, gaya, jnana. So when Arjuna inquired, khetra, gaya, Krishna replied, idam sariram khetra miti abhidhiyat. This body is khetra. And one who knows this body, it's like I say, it's my body. So I am khetra. So he has the same khetra, gaya. Khetra, gaya, kya, tathapara. Uh, the Jiva Shakti, that is also spiritual. We are all spiritual. And this is our mistake, mistake that I am thinking I am this body. Uh, this is ignorance. Uh, the whole world is going on under this ignorance uh, that I am this body. I am this body. Uh, <coughs> just so Jasyatra buddhi kunapeti dhātuke caiva gokhara. If we study this verse, that anyone who is under the conception of bodily conception, I am this body, then he is no better than the animal. Caiva gokhara. Go means cow and khara means ass. But this is going on. The whole, the so called nationalism. Nations. So what is this idea of nation? I am American. Uh, I am Indian. I am Hindustani. I am Pakistani. Bodily concept of it. But Shastra rejects immediately. 
if anyone is under the bodily conception of life, he is saiva gokara. He is no better than any. This is the challenge of this house. So all these so-called nationality, big, big nations, big, big races, caste, and so on, so on, what is their position? The position is that all of them are animals, that's all. This is the verdict of this world. Saiva gokara. Actually, uh, this morning we are talking, uh, one dog sees another dog, or he is coming from another neighborhood, he immediately begins to bark, immigration department. Uh, why you are coming in this neighborhood? Uh, all right, you can stay here for three days, then you must have to bark. The dog barking. Uh, so we have opened so many branches, uh, but the basic principle is saiva gokharo. All of them are on the platform of animal consciousness. Uh, this is the modern civilization. Uh, India was never meant for that. Pannita uh, samadarsina. And this high culture we have lost now. Pandita Samadarsina. They never distinct Vidya Vinaya Sampanni, Brahmani, Gavihastani, Suni Chita Sapati. Because there is no bodily concept of life. This is India's prerogative. But now we are also developing the bodily concept of life and becoming one of the animals. There is no distinction. If one is bodily concept of life, he is no better than animal. It may be the dogs are fighting that I am dog and you are a different dog. If the man also fights, and that's the same principle, then what is the difference between dog and man? So this can be understood when actually Prahlad Maharaj was surprised when his teacher was uh, teaching him how to deal with enemies. Uh, he was surprised with his enemy. Uh, so a Vaishnav has no enemy. Vaishnav uh, is friend. Patitanaṁ pāvanebhya vanchākalpataru bhaśca kripā sindhu bhaivaca patitanaṁ pāvanebhya vaiṣṇavibhya navo. Vaishnava uh, is meant for delivering the potit, the fallen. Fallen means fallen in the bodily conception of God. That is potit. Uh, so potitanam pavanam. Uh, Krishna's also business is to deliver these fools and rascals in the bodily concept of life. Uh, that, uh, First pointing out that you are not this body. Then knowledge begins. Rather, what is knowledge? If one is under the bodily concept of life, he has no life. And he is parasakti. But not aparasakti. The aparasakti, what is that aparasakti? Na avidya karma sangha anya tritya sakti vishyate. This material world means food of avidya and karma sangha and working hard like hogs and dogs day and night. This is material world. Material world means based on ignorance that I am this body and working day and night like hogs and dogs, that is material life. But uh, human life, although we have got this material life, body, uh, we should not be, uh, I mean, say, bewildered. Ahaṅkāra vimurātmā kartāha miti mannati. Ahaṅkāra, taking this body, the concept of ahaṅkāra, false. Ahankar, uh, egotism. I am Indian, I am American, I am this, I am that. This is called ahankar. 
विमूरात्मा कर्ता हम इति मन्यते एंड द होल वर्ल्ड इज मी सो इफ वी वांट टू बिकम आउट ऑफ दिस इग्नोरेंस देन वी हैव टू टेक टू कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस अदरवाइज देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी एंड इफ वी रिमेन इन इग्नोरेंस देन वी शैल गो ऑन कमिटिंग सिनफुल एक्टिविटीज एंड एंटेंगल आवर सेल्फ इन द कर्म चक्र असन्न फी क्ले सतया सदी ह इफ यू डोंट आई एम गिव अप दिस इग्नोरेंस अ बॉडीली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ एंड इफ यू गो ऑन कंटिन्यूइंग दिस बॉडीली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ देन वी आर बिकमिंग एंटेंगल इन द लॉज ऑफ नेचर कर्मना दैव नेत्री न जंतर देह उपवृत्ति and then we we'll create another situation for another body and another body means another period of suffering this is going asanna phi klesa de asade na sadhu manne jato atmano hai atma is sachidananda but on account of being eh, bodily covered and case in this body we are suffering We are suffering. Therefore, Krishna says that Tanga Tithi Kasa Bharat, Bharata, or the son of Bharat Dynasty, Bharata. So, in the material world, the suffering is there. But what is that suffering? Matras Parshas the Kunti or Su Sitosna Sukhda Kada. Then, on account of this body. Now, in this season, we are feeling uh, uh, heat. Therefore, the pain is there. Uh, but another season, the body is the same, but the season has changed. Therefore, I will have to cover with hot coat and pain. So, the this feeling of heat and cold is due to this body. Uh, and what is this body? This material body. Therefore, all our <coughs> feelings of happiness and distress, it is due to this body that we do not know. Uh, therefore, the best solution of uh, miserable condition of life is to stop this material body. Then you become spiritually situated, and there is no more. Uh, uh, Contradiction. Matras par shast kon thi or sitos na sukhud kada. Agama paina nitya tang tithikha sabhar. That is advice. We have to do our own business. Self realization. That is tapusha. Tapu dibbanga putra kaji na suddhi to satya. Existence to purify the existence. We have to practice tapusha. Not running like cats and dogs here and there. This will not make solution of life. Uh, human life is meant for who the bunga putra ka jina suddhita satya jasmad brahma sukhamanu. This is the process. Mahaseva dharma hur vimukte. If you want to get out of this entanglement of a distress condition, a material body. Then Mahaseva, you associate with Mahatma and serving Mahaseva Dharma would be mukti. Tamad dyanam jyotisang sangi sangam. And if you want to enjoy senses, then the path of darkness is there. Tamad dyanam. Then you do not know where you are going. Today you are human being. Tomorrow, after this body, you may become a plant, a tree, uh, or something else. That is tamadhara. We are pushing through darkness. Uh, that we should not remain in darkness. Jyotir gama, tamasi ma. Don't remain in darkness. Come to the light. So we have got so many. Uh, Books of knowledge giving us light, 
especially in this age, Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, take advantage of this and come into the light and make your life successful. This is Krishna Consciousness Movement. Thank you very much.